I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is by the end of this video, we will have reached the end of this series of Atari 50th anniversary, Atari XP re-release cartridges. The good news is we still have one more to go and it's Gravatar number 10 in the series. Look, you can see up on my shelf, I have them lined up here. Well, there's one missing. And this is it. You can see the edge of the cartridge right there. Um, I, you know, I thought when this first was announced, Gravatar was an odd choice for this lineup of 10 games. Maybe the oddest of the 10 uh, titles that they chose for the Atari XP line. And we'll talk about that and open this up and see what cool extra goodies are inside right after this. This video supported in part by... Well, in VR, I tend to sweat. It gives me an edge. The King of Nerds happens to give me an edge too. Let King of Nerds give you the edge. Bye, King of Nerds. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you so much for checking out this video and even more so if you've been following this series all along ever since number one dropped Adventure. If you are just catching up, what the heck is Atari XP? Excellent question. Beginning in 2022, which was the 50th anniversary of Atari, Atari started to announce pre-orders for these Atari XP cartridges. Now these are re-releases of the existing cartridges you might've seen for the VCS, but they have new contents. There's a patch, there's a pin, there's a little stand, and there's a gatefold box that reveals brand new artwork on these redesigned cartridges that also have a marquee that lights up when you plug them in to an Atari 2600. And if you have all 10 of them together, the edges of the boxes lined up to spell out Atari 50, that a 50th anniversary logo. Now look, you can see I have nine of them on the shelf. We're lacking the 10th and it is Gravatar. Now I mentioned, this was a little puzzling to me when they mentioned they were doing Gravatar. Uh, look, I was a member of the Atari fan club. I got Atari Age magazine. I even ordered Crazy Climber through it. But it wasn't until 1983 that the original Gravatar in the silver box was made available to club members only and exclusive. It's like 35 bucks if you ordered it through there. And it's a pretty good game, actually. It's a decent version of the arcade classic. But if you missed it there, it wasn't like publicly available or released retail until 88, five years later. I was out of high school by then. I was, was into junior college and I'd even sold my Atari 2600 to pay for my computer. So I definitely didn't get to play this the first time around. Now I've played it in subsequent years, uh, which is how I know that it's a pretty decent port of the arcade game. So this is the 10th one in the collection. Uh, think what you might of how they chose it or was there a better choice, but I'm ready to check out Gravatar since it finally is the wrap up of this series. So let's get it to the table and open it up. Gravatar here, like Asteroids before it, gives me that impression that they cut the artwork out of the original box, but didn't pay any consideration as to how it would look on this stark black box. It was, Gravatar was once released on a silver box, and then later it was like on a brown or red box, I think. Uh, and it looks great with that offset, but here it just kind of looks like lost. Like you almost need something. I would not have had my feelings hurt if they added some nebula or stars or whatever here. It just... Something about the graphics just don't pop, despite the bright oranges and stuff here, but it's the accurate artwork for Gravatar. Like every XP title, uh, the title has been supplanted by a giant Atari logo, and the name of the game is just below it with that artwork here. As we mentioned, if you flip it around on back, you get, once again, a subset of the information you might have gotten on the back of a regular box, an accurate screenshot, thank you, from the game. A little description, use your uh, joystick controller, all that jazz. Just, you know, what we've come to expect from this line. As mentioned, Gravatar here is number 10. It'll line up on the shelf with the others. The artwork on the side that it contributes is the, the finality of this logo. There's the side of the zero, the edge of the Atari Fuji is there, and down at the bottom we have that little embossed Atari logo as we've always had. That does appear on both sides, but the obverse side is just completely blank otherwise. But a box is just a box, so let's get this Gravatar open and find out what they have done with this title. Freed from the shrink wrap here, now it's time for my second favorite part, second only to actually playing the game, and that's revealing what this artwork looks like. So these have a little tuck tab here, so I'm gonna use this lifter tool to pop it open. There we go. Let's see what we've got. <gasps> oh, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. 
Okay, so we have literally, you know, like waves of gravity going around this planet, what looks like a, a gravity well around it. Okay, it's more full color. It's more like Centipede was a little bit. It's not, not exactly, but okay. And this side, of course, is just uh, talking about what the XP line is and the 50th anniversary. I haven't called this out on every one of these XP cartridges, but I have a little problem with what they're doing here. I like that they're giving credit where credit is due to the developers of these games. However, Mike Halley and Rich Adam, they were the developers of the arcade game. It was Dan Hitchens who did the VCS port. I mean, look, I understand why you want to give credit to people that designed the original game, but where's Dan? I mean, he did the work. He definitely should be listed here. Uh, maybe there's room for a follow-up to uh, this series to talk about the things they missed on and what kind of the best parts. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you're interested in kind of a best of and worst of this whole series, like a post-mortem, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll do one follow-up to wrap up this series, but there are a few little nitpicks that I've had throughout the series of 10 that certainly could have been better or should have been better researched or something. So anyway, let's get this box open and find out what all the extra goodies look like. Here we go then with the standard five piece assortment of what is included in these XP cartridges. You have the manual patch, the pin, the stand, the cartridge. Uh, let's start looking at the patch. Following the trend, it is shield shaped. We have the Gravatar spaceship here and you are a Gravatar G-Force commander. Appropriate because Gravatar is all about the forces of gravity and gravity wells and that kind of thing as you explore and kind of uh, tackle these little bases and planets. Uh, a decent design. I think the orange and yellow really pop well with the blue border. Uh, again, Gravatar not being one of my favorite games, Really, you have nothing to live up to <laughs> for me, really, other than just to look nice. And I think they've done a fine job here uh, with the patch design, and it matches uh, the theme of the other ones. With the pin, they follow pretty much the same trend. We have a subset of what's on the patch here, which is that spaceship, none of the shield around it. And then we have the original arcade logo for Gravatar down below it. Now, these are... We're going to look. Maybe I will do that follow-up video, because I swear some of these started as plastic. This is very clearly, feels like metal, single pin back, looks nice. I, I really wish I could just buy more of these separately because I'd have them on every backpack and bag <laughs> that I've got. A quick peek at the manual will show us, I'm sure what we've seen with all the previous ones. This is effectively just a reprint of the manual from 88, I would expect. Yeah, it looks like the 88 manual because the uh, the 83 manual had like the rainbow artwork up on the top. So this looks more like the uh, the standard release. Uh, yeah, nothing special in here, you know, history of the game or anything like that. Just a reprint of the manual. Let's take a closer look at that cartridge then. The printing on these is really nice. Only Centipede, I think, though I recall looking like it was a full color printing process like they've done here, and I like that. The design is not as inspired maybe as Centipede, uh, but certainly it's uh, vibrant and colorful. We have that gravity well going on around this planet. Then we have these rings going around that could represent orbits of ships or whatever, but I mean, I, not knowing Gravatar as well as other people, I'm not sure if this is the most representative, but it certainly looks like an outer space shooter. Enough uh, of that. The back of these cartridges is just this nice satin finish Atari logo, and that's because these are manufactured backwards so that the artwork shows forward when you plug it in. And finally, both last and least, is this cute little stand. So this little plastic or acrylic stand, you peel off the paper and you build it yourself. And when you do assemble it, you have this cool little stand that's designed perfectly to hold the cartridge. You line your cartridge up with these little pegs, just kind of rock it in place, and there you go. A nice stand for your cartridge. But you know we're not leaving it on this stand. It's time to plug it into an Atari, see how the light up looks, and see how it plays. I have got Junior hooked back up to the TV here, so let's plug in Gravatar and power it up. Okay, so we used an orange bulb in here, which really offsets and complements the artwork. I think that was a good choice. You know, I didn't even think about what color it should be. I figured it was going to be white again, but uh, they're using a bit of a fatter font once more, which you can take or leave. But I think the orange does a good job of making the artwork pop even more and pretty happy with what they've done here. What do you say we give Gravatar a test spin? All right, I've got my slick stick ready. Um, I'm gonna use game option number five because I have found that that one is good for people who aren't good at this game. And here we go. It's very asteroids-y, so you thrust and rotate kind of thing. Oh, there's a spaceship. Yeah, I already got shot. See, that told you I wasn't very good at this. Gotta shoot all these little bad guys. There we go. Trying to bump into the walls. 
it's a kind of a big open adventure game almost. So it's too bad it doesn't save. I always thought that would have been cool because the arcade game has some a lot of levels to go. We can let's see if I can grab this fuel. There we go. Got the fuel. So I got to take care of these last couple of guys. Don't forget you have a shield, John. Remember you have a shield. Got him. All right, then we just fly out the top of the screen. Like, oh, almost died. And head to the next one. Now, we could go right to the big one, but let's explore another uh, little planet here. All right, these guys are a pain. Got him. Don't need that fuel yet. Oh, look at that guy. He's going to be tough to get down there. Oh, I got him. Woohoo. Oop. Got it. And then away I go. Yeah. And then eventually you do this one over here, which I can never do. Oh, there's a UFO to fight. I like to zoom in when it gets close to a UFO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's the part where I crash into the wall 500 times. There's one. <laughs> you got to get in here, shoot this thing, and then get out with never hitting the walls. And, uh, and you have like... You see the countdown, like 50-some seconds to do it. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, oh. oh, gosh. And you got to get out is the thing. No, no. All right, we shot it. We shot it. Ah, oh, and then I died, of course. Anyway, you got to shoot it. Then you got to get out through that maze. Uh, and that's a quick way to finish this board. You got to do it eventually, but... And I really like the variety of the plant escapes that you get. The shield is a nice addition. You kind of need that. I want to get this guy down there. Uh, uh. Oh, I didn't crash even. Yay! I made it! Anyway, so I finished that one. And you have multiple galaxies to go through. And you play through the galaxies. You play through the planets. And you pretty much get the experience of the arcade game. I've got to say, for all the limitations of the VCS, and I guess it makes sense being a, a late in the life of the VCS game, this is a pretty faithful port of what was a successful arcade game. So that's Gravatar. So here we are together for the last time putting a box together in this XP line. There goes the manual, the patch, the pin, that little stand, and that beautiful cartridge. Then we make a spot for it on the shelf, Add it to its brethren. There we go. Gravitar number 10, right in line with the full set. There's just something really gratifying about all 10 of them lined up there, spelling out that Atari 50 logo. If you look back, I mean, so they started taking pre-orders over a year ago, early 2022. It took over a year for them to start shipping, which was the middle of this year. And now, here we are, well outside of the 50th anniversary, finally, all 10 of these XP cartridges have shipped and have arrived at people's doors, and I was happy to be able to share the experience with you. Look, I might do a follow-up where I look at the highs and lows of this series. If I do, I'll throw a link to that here. I'll also put a full playlist to all of my Atari XP coverage up there. I certainly hope, though, you found something to enjoy in this video and this series, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.